I'm Kathy Nichols, and I'm a lifelong artist, painter, and teacher. I help students of all ages tap into their creativity with watercolor. Watercolor is a great way to express yourself, and it's easy to get started and fun to do. My watercolor lessons are designed for beginners of all ages. No theory and not too technical. Just follow along with me. I hope you join me to learn how to paint with watercolor. I can't wait to see your paintings. Welcome to the next lesson in our bird portrait series. Some of our most popular lessons have been bird portraits. See our watercolor bird portrait playlist to see them all. I love watching blue jays. They are energetic, bossy, and noisy. Their plumage is colorful and attractive. It makes them great painting subjects. We'll use three brushes, seven paints, and six techniques. Let's get started. Take your spray bottle, spray your pans of paint here. Put some water in your pellet. In this lesson, I do use a photograph. Here's my photograph of the bird that we will be painting. And from that photograph, I created a template and I trace the photograph and place the template in the middle of the page. This is a profile of the bird. Pick up your liner brush, get your brush wet and load it with intense blue and trace your template. All right, now I noticed that when I traced it, some of the water, the paint escaped on the background here. And I am taking my paper towel and wetting it and making that disappear. All right. Now, let's fade some of those lines. Now this bird has some white on it and the color ranges from a almost white to grayish blue to black. So continue to fade those lines along here.
Now around the neck, it's really light. So just wanna fade that line there almost completely. A little line or kind of a shadow is fine. All right. Now, above the beak, there's almost white. So leave a little bit white in that area. Now, by the beak, there's some dark areas. So let's start by putting a light coat of blue. Now we will be creating layers to a dark black there, but let's just start with loading our liner with intense blue around the beak. And it comes up. around here like that and back down around the beak and when you need to go ahead and look at your photograph to look at the markings to refer to go a little below the beak here now, the eye will start to form about right here. And then make a circle. And in the pupil, there's a white spot. So don't make the circle completely fill it in. Leave a white spot. like that. Okay, let's put a little more of the blue here above. Now, below the beak, there's some of that blue. So let's carry that some down here. Now the beak, there is some blue, bluish gray. So let's take our liner. Now I have some intense blue on this and take some of your white to make more of a gray blue lighter blue and let's do the beak and get a base color here That's looking good, okay. Now, let's work on the top here. Now this, the top of the head, the bird is, it's very blue. So let's add more color to that and use intense blue with a little of the ultramarine blue.
and start at the tip here. Now, as you come down the top of the head, it starts to fade a little. And I don't want this uh, solid line, so take your brush and add some water to it to make a gradual color and it's you have to play with it a little bit to to work it See now that doesn't look like there's a solid line where it's blue and then white and you will have to fiddle with it a little bit. Now, this blue comes about right here and above the Y, above the I, there's white, white. So I want to leave that and not fill that in with color. and load your brush as needed. And come down with that blue on the back here. Go all the way down to the back of the neck. And add some more of that blue. Down along this way on the back. Now let's stop and give it a good dry. Okay, take your liner brush. Now let's work on the beak. We need this blue to be a little more gray. So let's add more white to the blue. And a touch of the ultramarine blue. Go back on the beak. Now there's some of this color 
right below the beak. Just kind of streaking down. Now, if it's too strong, again, you can wet your brush and soften that paint and even lift it out. Now let's add some of that color up here on the head. There's a little bit by the eye that casts shadows in the white part. Let's give it another good dry. Okay, let's make some of that dark color. To make that dark color, load your liner with intense blue. And burnt umber to get that dark, almost black. And there's some of that on the beak. So let's put some of that on the beak. Now, there's some of that by the beak and then up in this area by the eye. And then go ahead and do the eye, leaving a white spot. There's a little reflection of light. And below the eye, there's some of that dark color. And another spot here by the beak. Like so. And then just wet your brush and have that color fade out. Just randomly. Like that. Now, I need to make some more of that color mixture on my palette here.
there's some of that right on the back of the neck. About right here. And then it goes down. And then it starts want to carry this line all the way to here. And to make it look like feathers, you don't want it to be a straight line. You want it to be staggering. And then it connects back up here. And remember, we're not trying to draw every little feather on the bird. Now this line here could go up just a little bit, tad like that. Okay. Now I think the color here seems a little light. But before I do that, I see there's a little of that dark color on the beak towards the end. Just about right here. Like that. Okay, so for this area, I want to use my round with pointed tip brush and darken the color and make it a little more blue-gray. So I'm adding some white. To my intense blue. And that's, that is a little blue. Now to make it a little more gray, add just a touch of the burnt umber. Not much. Okay, let's give it a good dry. And then it's good to stop and pause and look at your watercolor. Now that it's dry, I like the overall look. Now you might notice in there, there's some, some of the water ran and there's lines, but you know, I like that looseness there um, and not detail. Because again, this is just 
my feeling of this bird, what it looks to me, my interpretation, and your painting is your interpretation. So now I could leave it like this with a relief. And some people like that. Again, it's a personal preference. But now we were, will proceed to create a background. a depth of focus. Pick up your round with pointed tip brush. And load it with cadmium yellow. Now You will want to start at the edge of the bird and just start wetting your brush and pulling that paint and spreading it going along. Now I know that seems bright, but we're going to work it. We're going to work it and create and change it, and that's the, the fun of watercolor. Now just go along your image here. And you don't need to load your brush every time. In fact, you can just wet your brush and spread some of the paint that is on your paper. Don't like that bright yellow there, so I'm just carefully lifting it with my brush. That's better. Now, let's take some sap green and do the same thing. going around the image and being careful not to get too close because the paint will run.
I'm almost there. Yeah. Now the, that's a very light background. Now let's add more to it by using our mop brush. Load your mop brush. Now let's clean the mop and add a little blue. We want this just to be a light blue, a little sky peeking through. So take your mop, put some white on the palette. I don't know what color to put. And touch of blue. And a touch of the intense blue. And put some at the top. A little bit by the green. If it runs, that's okay. Okay, let's stop and give it a good dry. Let's stop for a moment. I see some puddling on my paint and I don't want it. Sometimes I do. This instance, I don't. I'm going to dab it a little bit, and that will give it texture. Okay. I hope you enjoy your day, just like this bird is, sitting in the forest, enjoying his day. Take care. Thanks for joining me.
Join me next time when we'll have some more creative fun to give watercolor a try. Please give a thumbs up, subscribe, and take a lesson or two. Take care, be safe, and see you soon.